here. And we want to recognize, recognize Kay Howe um, as our um, superstar of the week. Kay Howe has um, been completely consistent and has shown up for every call. She's actually not on the call tonight, but she did message us and let us know that she's been really sick and has just been completely out of commission, has taken medicine and gone to bed. But Kay Howe has shown up for every call. She's doing a clean eating group every single week for the past couple of months. She's added so many friends and um, has made so many contacts and is just really, really putting in her all. And I know that she's going to really reap the benefits. Um, she really took that call to action when Renee and I posted about how important it is to really, really, really work your business in August. And she has been so busy um, in the month of August and now going September uh, is really just keeping that same um, dedication. So we just really wanted to give a shout out to her for all of her hard work. She's really working hard on getting down that attraction marketing. So we really just wanted to say great job, Kay How Your consistency is definitely paying off and it definitely shows. All right, now I am going to stop my screen share and I am going to turn it over to Renee. Okay, awesome. I will go ahead and screen share on my end and I'm gonna turn up my volume. Can you hear me better that way? Can I get louder? You sound great, we can hear you great. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, here we go. Now let me start on the slideshow. Okay, so with it being the beginning of a new month, our focus as a team is providing value. Like as coaches, our job is to add value to others, to help people reach their health and fitness goals, or just to help people in general, however you can based on your skills and what you have to offer to the world. So um, at the beginning of the month is the perfect time to start a free group. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into exactly how I execute a free group every month and how it has really helped my business grow um, substantially. And I've been able to add a bunch of cold market or new friends into my warm market and build relationships with them and then in turn turn those people into challengers or coaches. So I'm going to um, just go into exactly how to um, promote and talk about a free group. So first, I want to discuss the mindset because a lot of people think I'm putting all this work into a free group and I'm getting nothing in return. And I just want um, to make it clear to you that there has to be a mindset shift here that as a coach, we're here to help people. The work you put in to run these free groups is going to pay off. You are going to reap benefit from helping people as long as you come um, or go about it in a giving mindset where you're there truly to help them and get nothing in return. Because when you go about it that way, it is received that way by them so they'll that will build the trust with your cold market or the people that join your free group, whatever it's about. It can be clean eating, crock pot. It could be, you know, um, how to be a better mom or how to, you know, keep your dishes done every day. I mean, you could do any type of free group that you want. It doesn't have to be just a clean eating, but it's easier to segue into your paid challenge group when you um, run a free group that is fitness or nutrition related. It just makes it easier to have a conversation with these people in regards to their health and fitness when you go about it that way. So it starts with your mindset. Just have a giving mindset. I'm just here to help them. I'm not here to get anything in return. I just really want to share 
with people. And during the time that you're running the free group, focus on attraction marketing. Focus on the call that we did, that Nicole did a few weeks ago and really show your face, not just in your free group, but on social media publicly. Because when you do that, people are watching you. So in the free group, they're in there, but they're also checking you out on a day-to-day -day basis on your social media. Why you're doing that in your social media, take the time to go to those challengers that are plugging into your free group and like and comment on some of their posts. It'll give you a great way to um, private message them and have something to talk about with them. So you could private message them during the free group and say, hey, I just saw that you were in a wedding. Um, you look so pretty. I love that dress. How was it? Did you have a good time? Or, you know, that could give you something to talk with them about because you're ultimately wanting to just get to know them and make a new friend. So you want to be present on their pages, get to know them, and be present yourself. And just give. Give yourself um, because it will pay off in the long run. It could pay off in your next challenge group, or it could pay off the following month or the following month. We don't know, but it will pay off as long as you go about it with, at, with a giving mindset of, you know, I just want to be there to help you um, and not receive anything in return. So. Um, that's where the mindset shift is so important. So the benefit of these free groups, you make new friends. You, by making those new friends in the free group, you add value to them, which in turn builds trust so that they would be willing to join you in your next challenge group because they trust you and they see that you can really help them with their health and fitness goals. Um, and this kind of gives them an opportunity to have a sneak peek into what a challenge group is like. Um, there was an analogy I heard um, about you, you wouldn't marry someone unless you knew them first. And that's kind of what the free group does is you're basically able to date them, so to speak, before ma they marry you. So that's kind of what the uh, free group does is it's a segue. Um, so you are in the free group bridging the gap between the free group yourself so they trust you and then your challenge group so that they want to invest in what you have to offer because they see that you take it seriously, that you really do care about people and that you truly want to help them because that's what we do as coaches. We want to help people. Um, and like I said, no expectations to join a challenge group. You don't want to go into this being um, me, 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 you know, because some people will think, what's the catch? What's the catch about, you know, nothing's free. Well, truthfully, these free groups are free. They don't have to join your challenge group. But at some point, most likely they will. But don't go about it thinking that, you know, I'm expecting something from them because I'm offering them this free service. Just go about it in a giving heart, with a giving heart. And that's where the mind shift um, change needs to happen so that you will get challengers from this. Um, so making new friends. Now I'm going to go into exactly how the free group and um, needs to um, go like how how to get all the new friends and how to run a successful clean eating group. So first, you want to create an event. Um, in the event, you want to ask for referrals. Ask people if they have a friend that would like to join them too. It's more the more the merrier. If you have someone that has been in your free group before and they want to join it again, tell them you you would love more than anything to have them join you in this free group. But do you mind bringing a friend along as well? Because the more the merrier. Um, I've never had anybody complain about having to do that. And a lot of times they do bring a friend along. So just may, ask for referrals. Say the more the merrier. Invite people to join this event. And I'll get into more details on how you can execute that in just a second. And then post it on social media. And I'm going to give you examples of how to post it on social media. Now, Next Monday, as a team, we're going to do a crock pot free group because it's fall coming and 
crock pot season is upon us. So you're welcome to do that with us, or you can um, choose your own theme of a free group. It should never be more than five to seven days. I think that is just plenty of time to build trust and a relationship with someone. So I don't see any reason for you to go beyond five to seven days in a free group. Now, I'm going to be running my own crock pot group by myself. And I want each of you to run your own group by yourself. The reason being is because it shows your leadership as a coach to the people that joined because they want you to be their coach. So it's very important that when you run these free groups that you are leading the free group because it just, it works so much better with your organization and segueing into a challenge group. We have content that we'll post later this week in our team page so you can have all of the posting and you'll know exactly what to post in the challenge group, but you can definitely make it your own however that looks. But all three of these things are how I make new friends. So post it on social media and post it different ways. So you can post tonight, you could post it again tomorrow, you could post it in three, to, I mean, seriously, you could, if you're posting two to three times a day on your social media already, you can easily post three times about your free group that's coming up in different ways and at different times because some people are on social media at different times than others. If you're at on different platforms of social media like Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, you know, utilize all of those and post about it in all of those platforms in different ways. And I'm going to go into different ways of posting. So this is one example of wording when you're wording your challenge group and obviously you want to make it your own, but putting stars or any type of um, emoji or however you say it, I don't know, I always butcher stuff, but um, putting little um, icons or whatever on certain things, it shows people, it like lights up the page and people are more likely to see what you're posting. Um, not just making a big paragraph because people get lost in all the words and they keep scrolling. You want to put enter and space your wording out. Sometimes do all caps so that people see what you're posting. So freeze like in all caps because uh, it's easier to read. It's easier on the eye. Don't use a ton of exclamation points across the board because people get lost in that as well. Just one is fine or maybe two. and so just look at how it's spaced. That is so important. And then at the end, it always has a call to action. So at the end of your post, in regards to your free group or challenge group or any post, you want a call to action. So just comment with I'm in. And whoever does that, you can get them added to the group. And um, so that's one example. And I'll try to fly through these a little bit because there's a few of them. So this one um, is a different font that I use, but it's very short and simple and to the point. Uh, free seven day cleaning crock pot challenge group. Comment below with what a crock if you'd like more info on it. Easy peasy, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be all drawn out. It can be really quick and to the point. Um, you definitely want an image with this, so I will get to that. Um, this one is a different font on my end, but Another example of this is someone running a kid-friendly clean eating group, and it just it's spaced out and um, definitely where it offers what um, the recipes, the support, the grocery list, the daily tips, all of that is um, separated so that people can see that right away, and then it's separated again at the end with comment me below, and I'll get you added. So. Here's a few other wordings that I've seen on social media for people that um, are um, offering free groups that they can, um, that have been very successful. As you can see, the one has 82 likes on it, um, but it just varies. So always have a call to action at the end and um, be very clear of what you're offering in the group. So I'm going to just skip past this one. Okay, so 
Now we're going to talk about images. Images are so important because when you're posting on social media, you want to have something that's a scroll, a scroll stopper. So you want a picture of you. All of these are great posts about the free group or if something that they're offering. It's them. You want to put your face on the image, a clear picture of you smiling, happy, um, or just being yourself, whatever that looks like. And um, you can have words or you don't have to, but um, a lot of people will put the free um, challenge on the wording somewhere. But look excited about it. Show your passion in your image. You could also do a live video on it now that that's a feature. If you're brave enough to do that, you know, do a live video talking about it. Um, so these are examples. Here's a few more, um, and then you can see at the top some crock pot examples. Now, I personally love the one on the left because it's her. You see her face with her crock pot, and she's excited about it. Um, so out of these, if I saw her, that's who I would choose because I can see her face. I feel like, oh, you know, she looks really nice. I'm going to join her. So that's kind of what I mean by showing your face on your image because that just draws people to you and they're more likely to stop scrolling and read what you have to say. So now I'm going to um, actually discuss how to create an event for some people that may not know how to do this because I know we have some no newer coaches on our team. So what you'll do is from your home screen, you will go to the event and click on that and then hit create event. Now what's very important is at the top where it says create event, you want to change that private um, to public. You want to make sure it's a public event so that your friends can invite their friends to the event. Now the little image with the circle is where you can add a cover photo and um, then you can um, then it shows where it actually is a public event. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to show you this step-by-step -step, um, image here so anybody that has confusion on how to create an event, they can walk through this to see how that's done. And you all, of course, want to have it um, where guests can invite friends to join the group. So important. Because what I love to do in my, in my events when I'm promoting my free group, so like I said, I post like three times about it, and then I will create an event about it, and I will invite, and on the left, it will, um, that's my description. So that's kind of another way of me telling you about what the group is going to be about. So that's just one I did for the 4th of July. Um, and then what I like to do is keep posting in my um, um, my free event um, for my group, my free group, so that people get notifications about the group. And I like to do giveaways because with the giveaways, people will get motivated by that and they'll invite a lot of people to join the event as well so you can make new friends that way on top of the referrals so you ask for referrals and then you do a giveaway for people that invite friends to the event as well so that's another way of you just growing your warm market so getting some cold market people into your um your warm market so that you can build relationships with them and find out what interested them about the clean eating group and how you can help them with their health and fitness goals. And those are just two different um, ways of presenting that. Um, so these are just a few other ways that I'll post in my group um, or my event about the group. Um, so I'll tell them to join the group at the link below and just get excited. So what I do is I try to, um, show a lot of passion in my words when I'm posting about this. So people get pumped up about it and excited about it. Um, and then I talk about the giveaway and then I say, we're friends, right? Because we need to be friends so that I can add you to the group. So that way I can grow my friends list. 
and help more people. The key to free groups is truly building relationships. And if you have trouble with what to say to people and turning a cold market person into a warm market person and how to transition that way, forming is something that I definitely used in the beginning that now has um, become very natural for me. I think it's best just to be yourself. But if you find you don't know what to say to someone, the best way to do it is to look at forming so that you can kind of um, learn how to talk to someone. So form stands for family, their occupation, um, their recreation, and then you'll have the message where you could say, you know, tell me a little bit about your health and fitness goals. Um, for family, you ask, are you married? Do you have kids? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, do you work? What, um, how long have you been working there? How do you like it? Um, for the recreation, what do you do for fun? Do you travel a lot? Have you been doing that hobby for a long time? This just kind of gets you um, engaged with this person and getting to know them. And that's what you do throughout the clean eating group is you just work on building a relationship with them and letting them know that you just care about them and you just want to learn about them and get to know them. Be interested in the people that join your group. Ask what inspired them to join the group. Why did they want to join the group? Did they have any um, struggles with clean eating? Have they um, heard of clean eating before? Or whatever um, free group you're offering. What, they what do they hope to get out of the group and what are their goals and struggles? So that really helps you know already you're gonna be a step ahead when it's time for your challenge group because you already know their goals and struggles. So you can right then tell them um, I know that this challenge group that I have coming next will really help you um, get even more uh, or farther ahead with your goals and overcome those struggles of, um, you know, if their struggle is eating sugar or eating carbs, you know, this will help you do that and you can target them or talk to them based on their goals and struggles because you've already built that relationship throughout the clean eating group. And like I said, show up on their social media pages, private message them throughout the week. Your job as a coach is to hold them accountable and provide a kick butt experience for them so that they will want to join your challenge group in the future. They're going to have so much fun in your free group that there's, it's a no brainer. They want, they, they've like drank the juice or whatever you want to call it. And so they want to keep going with you because they had so much fun. They, never felt this motivation and accountability that you're offering them, so they're going to want to continue with you. That's why you add value to them. So like I said, it's free in the beginning, but it pays off big time. I've signed up coaches through my free groups. I've gotten tons of challengers through my um, free groups. I know a lot of other coaches on our team have as well. It is a very successful tool for you to build relationships and grow your, your business because that's what we want to do. So add value and show them you truly care about them and want them to succeed because that's what's going to help you succeed. It's about helping them and in turn you get rewarded because of it. So that's really um, the key here. And that's really um, all I have to share tonight about the clean eating group, but my challenge and homework for you guys is for everyone to go ahead and post about your free group that you're going to start Monday and create an event, make sure it's public, and invite people to invite their friends. Offer a giveaway. It can be something as easy as like a little water bottle, some hair bands. You know, people get excited just for the thought of a giveaway. It doesn't really matter what you're giving away. So um, just think about that. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody. So you can. I have a question. Yeah. Um, how do you keep track of the shares for the entries? Um, well, you can do a tally, but usually they'll comment under it and you can see based on who has invited 
everybody, you can see them on the list. So when you go to um, do the giveaway, you can go down the who's been invited and okay. it's invited by, and it'll tell you who invited them. Oh, okay, okay. So that's how I've done it. And then they usually, because they did it, they'll tell you. They'll say, I just invited 30 people or, you know, so. Okay. <laughs> well, because I'll be in Florida, I don't know if I can do a, a, a free group next week, but the week after, definitely. And I'll post all next week about the week after. That's a good idea. Um, so how, how long are you going to be in Florida? We're going to be there the whole week. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Um, We're leaving Tuesday, coming back Friday or Saturday. So we'll be gone pretty much the entire week. Have you ever um, thought of scheduling posts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've done those too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, something I just wanted to throw in there um, is that I like to do when I'm hitting my warm market and inviting people on my page when I've already done this before is um, I like to just put like a little asterisk and say like um, if you've done one of my free groups before you're more than welcome to join but bring a friend um, that way you're kind of ensuring those referrals for those people that have done it before um, or heck even say bring two. who knows you know I mean <laughs> yeah. you don't want to get too greedy but it wouldn't hurt to say you know or, or like for I don't know this I just came up with this but like for however many times you've done my free group that's how many people you bring you know so if somebody's done your your free group three times it's like I know I have someone who every single time I post a free group she's like I'm coming so at this point she owes me like 10 people if you know so I mean that's not a bad idea to try something like that too to get those referrals and get new friends yeah and feel free to share on our team page any awesome ideas that you come up with um, in regards to this so that we can feed off each other on um, any great, you know, tools or tips that you have um, as you're just like brainstorming and posting stuff and something that worked. Um, but it's all about trial and error. We're all just, um, you know, tr trying things and if it doesn't work, you know, it's okay, try again, and just keep trying again, because sometimes it will be amazing, and sometimes it won't, but it's okay, just keep plugging away, and you'll reap the benefits. I just keep doing it. Some groups are better than others, but I just keep chugging along. Um, I have one other question. You said our free group can be anything that we want, right? Mm -hmm. So I know when I did a live video, I guess last week, I had talked about I was going to do another Country Heat accountability group in October, and um, I told them that, you know, if they want to do like a try before you buy it type of thing, which is what you were talking about earlier, is it okay to do a free group maybe saying, hey, doing one week free of trying out a certain workout program? Is that is that kosher? Is that okay to do? Yeah, I think that... Um I saw something Rebecca posted on the team page, like she's going to do sample workouts throughout the week. So a sample, students okay. have to sign up for Beach Body on demand, and then they can sample um, certain workouts throughout the week. So that she posts like we're going to all do this workout. Um, I haven't had much success with that, but you're welcome to try it. I mean, obviously it's totally up to you. Um, it just hasn't been very successful for me. Um, well, that's, I think I think I ended up taking over that group for you at one time, and that's what kept me going. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, Cindy's rocking this. But yeah, no, and I saw it totally kept you accountable. So yeah, that's a good too. Okay. I just have a lot of people that are interested in Country Heat. They just didn't know what it would be like if it was something that they would like to do. That's why I was. They Try it for free on Beachbody On Demand. There is a sample of it on Beachbody On Demand. So just tell them, you know, you can go try it before you buy it. Okay. There is a free workout on there. Okay. Um, any other questions? I just have a comment. Um, so I don't know if you remember, Renee, but um, I'm a free group coach. Because I, I, that's how I got started with this. I joined one of your free groups. And um, 
for whatever it's worth, it, you know, it was at a time when I was really searching. I was desperate to find something, make some changes, and, and looking for accountability to help me work out uh, regularly. And um, I feel like it was the free group, the um, excitement in there, your accountability, your, um, you know, keeping in touch, and that actually helped me to take that next step. Because um, if I would have gotten to a conversation with you and probably gone straight to a challenge uh, group, it may not have been as smooth or as quick of a, of a process. But um, anyway, you just never know where people are, um, you know, if they're searching, if they're ready, and the free group could be the game changer, or just what they need um, for you to help them. So, yeah, you just never know, and that's a perfect example. And look, now you know you're my one of my diamond coaches. So, so I have. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So I have somebody that's done a couple, it's actually, he's a male, um, he's done a couple of my clean eating groups, um, and he hasn't joined, um, or gotten a challenge pack, but he mess he's like on this journey, he messages me all the time, when I message in my clean groups, he's always like posting about how awesome they are, he got his hands on some Shakeology samples, and he tagged me in it, and like he's... Um, it almost help, like helps motivate people to mm -hmm. come and work with me too. So that's kind of cool. Have you ever done a um, coaching jab to him? Like you know, you would be awesome yeah. at doing this. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, he's not ready, but I do. Usually, once a month, I'm kind of like, and we've kind, we've become friends just over Facebook, just because of one of my groups. Um, but he posts all the time about his journey and stuff, and so we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just keep at it, you know, you just never know. It's, um, but that's like I had a clean eater um, in my group, and I did the same thing. She was posting very motivational in the free group, and I was just like, girl, you are rocking this. Have you ever thought of doing, um, being a coach with me and doing this together? And she's like, actually, I have. And I was like, what? great, I'm private messaging you now. And she became one of my coaches, so. And it was a referral. It was one of those where I was like, you know, invite your friends. So I did not know her other than she was a friend of a friend. Um, one of my re most recent coaches joined a free group and it's been months down the road. And now she's one of my coaches, you know, so, and she was like, I don't know how we became friends. I usually don't accept strangers friend requests. And I was like, oh, you probably friended me actually. <laughs> We're about to get cut off. Yeah, we have like one minute or so left, so. Um, any other questions or anything from anybody? So, yeah, well, we'll just come back into our team page and let, um, let us all know when you um, created your event or posted so we can go and um, support you and on your post and show you some love over there on your um, page. So let us know on the team page when you do it. So if that's it, I guess you guys um, will just have a good night and um, we'll get to work. <laughs> All right. See you guys. All right. Thank bye. You, bye. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye.